officials tonight, Bert Smith, Ramey Steins, and Tony Henderson at Georgia Tech controls the opening tip. Starting five for Georgia Tech, Miles Kelly, Tech's leading scorer, went for 20 and 10 Saturday against NC State. By Dongo has not been a factor the last two games. The CC play, they're making more than nine a game. Wake has had its struggles on the road. Hildreth, poor shot. Reed gets it back, big to big. Carr banging down low. Wake is on the board. And Deacon's the best defensive rebounding team in the ACC. Also the best three-point shooting team in the conference. Salas, the Gonzaga transfer. Coming off a 24-point game, he's got two. Reeves using the shot fake, driving on Carr, stood up. Battle for the board, and it's ripped away by Andrew Carr, the senior from West Chester, Pennsylvania. Carr backing down Dongo. They go right back to him. Dongo's already got that one foul. Carr drops it off to Reed. He waited for that big, big double. Well, what, he, what Carr had to wait for was... Both bigs for Wake Forest pass the ball extremely well. Here's the lob for Dongo. It's broken up. Miller the other way. Look at him go. Acceleration, turbo, and the basket. This is transition basketball. Wake Forest, if they can play this way, it's going to be a long night for the Yellow Jackets. Air ball from Reeves. Claude and Carr tied up. It comes to Efton Reed. And now Wake again looking to push. Car, catch, release, splash. Hildreth off the feed from Carr. <laughs> Count it. Wake is rolling 15 unanswered. He moves so well without the basketball. And this is just a tremendous move. The fake gets clawed in the air. And then Georgia Tech just missed that one. He's been a valuable piece off the bench this year. Hildreth. In traffic, 18 unanswered for Wake. The Gapari just took so early in the shot call. Carr working on Gapari. Gets over Gapari. 20 in a row for Wake. Wow. Team from the field. Miller again hits the turbo button. Looking for help. Fredrickson. Reed bats it back to Boopy Miller. Monsanto catch and shoot, true. He passed up the first one. There's no way he was passing up the second one. Move the ball, and there the ball moves to Reed. And Reed, the expression on his face, what are you giving it to me for? Miller coming off a 21-point game on Saturday. It was 10 for 14 from the field. Sacco to the rim, blocked by Carr. Salas pushing, nearly poked away by Dongo. That's a nice job by Georgia Tech to get back, but now the floor is so spread. And it's Carr again making a great pass. And this is just a situation where Kelly loses Salas, but he loses him. Wake Forest is, they're really going well. How much of it is Wake's defense? How much of it is uh, Georgia Tech with maybe some poor shot selection as Hildreth gets an easy one down low? Steve Forbes wants to know what everybody's waiting for. Andrew Carr against Capari turns and hits. Reed on the smaller George. That's too easy. George working on Hildreth. Offensive rebound, Claude. And that's Georgia Tech's second field goal of this first half. They went almost 15 minutes between field goals. Monsanto, you cannot leave him that wide open. And you cannot give him that much time. But the Wake Forest passing drives the defense to the baseline. George over Reed. Back-to-back -back baskets for Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech last year went for 19 points. He's got 11 to lead all scores. He's almost out. That's another tough shot, though. Hildreth weaving and navigating Atlanta traffic. Tech shooting three for 26 from the field in the first half. One for 12 from three. Sturdivant knocks down the triple. Reed backing down Dongo to the jump hook. 
Nice move by Efton Reed. Seven feet tall, and he gets down inside, and he's going up against Dongo, and you can't help off him, and that leaves Reed one-on-one. Kapari down the lane, blocked by Reed. Seven to shoot. Salas puts it on the floor. In traffic. Gets the roll. Miles Kelly. Still looking for his first points. Well, he only took two shots in the first half. He's Georgia Tech's leading scorer. Hildreth, too easy. And whether he comes first or he comes behind, you know, Hildreth is coming. Dongo over Reed. Nice job by George to get through that tough double team off the screen. Guys, don't forget about what the score is. Let's just go out and play. Let's do what we do. Salas, offline. And I'm guessing if you're Steve Forbes, he's saying it's 0 0. Claude has had some good games, and he's an important factor, can be an important factor for Georgia Tech. Miller gets around oh. Sturdivant. Gonna move the ball. They almost get the sense it's like a poker player on tilt. Miller, step back three, good. Poker players tilt. You're going all in with 2 7 offsuit. <laughs> <laughs> if you say. Dongo facing up. Decided by single digits. That's tied for most in Division I. Kapari gets some separation and hits. He's seen the floor more of late as well. Reed, as no foul was called. Salas all over Kelly. Now gobbled up by Reed. Ahead to Salas. And he splits the double. Yeah, Kelly, remember, against Pitt, was held scoreless as well. Marsh and that's what he does you know we said hey you know he turned it over before when they threw him a bounce pass and this is what we're talking about you just throw it up to him and Marsh does such a great job and coaches have told us around the league they hate that part of it here's George a rare open look for Georgia Tech Georgia Tech really trying to fight hard through those screens Monsanto over Dongo. 38 point lead. And George makes it a 36 point deficit. He's got 10. He's the first Yellow Jacket into double figures. And George showed you when you give him that kind of room coming off the screen, he can hurt you. Reed doubled, forced it. Here's George the other way. Abram off the shot fake and makes it happen. Dongo, tough shot, and it flushes in. But he was a double-digit scorer before the injury last year. Fredrickson at times has been a weapon off the bench, knocking down threes. Hot shot the three well today, and that was an open one off some pretty good ball movement. And a double-double for Andrew Carr, his fourth of the season. Miller all the way. When he hits the gas, he's hard to stop. How can he do that? Well, he's been a little guy all his life, and so he's used to attacking the bigger guys. Five players in double figures for Wake as Dongo slams it home. Originally from the same hometown as Christopher Columbus, Genoa, Italy. <laughs> I didn't know where you were going with that, but that's a good one. Sort of assumed his normal role with Georgia Tech. Reed off the feed from Booby Miller. Ten points, seven rebounds for Efton Reed. Wake Forest continues to pass the ball very well. You don't shoot the kind of percentage they're shooting without good opportunities, and they've gotten them and converted them. 
And that's exactly what describes this Wake Forest team. They've played well enough that they're in position to make a move. Now they just have to make that move. Dongo slips inside. You can get one out of two against Duke and let's say split with Virginia Tech and Clemson. Is that enough? Well, you don't know. It depends on what other teams do. It depends on upsets in conference tournaments. A rare two-point field goal attempt for Fredrickson. 94% of the shots had come from three. He picks the pocket and goes in for the dunk. <laughs> and they play enough defense. They've done that tonight. Well, and the interesting thing is they're a pretty good three-point shooting team, and they have not been very good at all from three tonight. Wake Forest used a 23-0 run early in this game. They snap a four-game road losing streak. They get the win. Offense scores 80.